Hi, my name is Nick Arandes in another episode of Healing Together. And today I'm going to talk about uh, living in the moment, uh, living in the present, something that is being very, very popular. And I just like to share my, my thoughts on that, just to give you an idea of my understanding of it. Um, a lot of times the living in the present is being, um, it's been tried, we try to do so because somehow I'm trying to control the mind. I'm trying to not to think of a future because that creates worry or maybe a past that may have a sense of guilt or whatever. But in reality, if you think about it, I cannot not be in the present because the present is all that there is. You see, as a matter of fact, I mean, try, try not to be living in the present right now. Give it a shot. Give your best shot. <laughs> and you may say, well, you know, my thoughts are in the future or in the past. That means that I'm not in the present. No, you are in the present with the mind that happened to have thoughts that might have to do about a future or a past. And that's really not where the problem is. The problem is not in the thinking or the thoughts. The problem is the interpretation that I give to each one of the thoughts. That's really where the problem is. If I can allow things to be just as they are, that's something I can certainly do, if you put it that way, I'm doing, right? Um, then I am at peace with my experience. I am at peace with my thoughts. I am at peace with everything that is uh, taking place in this moment. That's what I understand or that's what I feel living in the present means. In other words, I'm bringing presence to everything that it is. I don't want to change anything. I don't want, to, I don't want anything to be different than it is. So if I allow myself to live from that place, actually every feeling, every thought, every experience is an opportunity to just be present with. You see? Once again, the suffering doesn't come as a result of not being in the present. The suffering comes as a result of judging my present moment, see? Judging the thought. I don't want this thought. I don't want this feeling. I don't want this experience. And I have talked about extensively in other videos about surrendering and uh, the first one I did, uh, being fed up with what is or whatever. Uh, but the bottom line is that as I continue to, to, to being aware of, of, of the nature of, of, of who I am, which is nothing that I as a person can be aware of, but I'm saying is, as I continue to surrender, so to speak, uh, all I can do is just be more present in every experience. Now, one of the things about being in the present, that again, at the beginning we try to do so, because in reality all I'm trying to do is uh, I mean, I, I'm more like in resistance to the present, and I hope that if I um, uh, control the mind or, or try to live in the present, I'm going to feel better, uh, whatever. No, really living in the present or being present with the experience is that whatever is happening is welcome. See, what that does is that allows to, to, to live in a more peaceful state of mind and uh, free of suffering. You see the difference? So, uh, I think that we have uh, made the simple very complicated. I cannot not be in the present, but I can make a hell of a present moment if I try to be in the present moment, if I focus on trying to be present, if I focus on trying to control the thoughts, control the thinking. But what if you can allow things to be just as they are? Then I am being present with what is, and that's how I can live at peace in every moment. Because now it doesn't matter what I feel, it's okay, it's welcome. It doesn't matter what I think, it's okay, it's welcome. And it's welcome not because I welcome it. It's welcome because life already welcomed it, so I have no choice. Only when I try to be in the present, when I'm trying to live in the present, it's like I'm not welcoming what is, and I want to be different, so I want to hopefully change my mind, focus my mind, so that I can, so that I can live in the present. And if I can live in the present, I can be at peace, or I can be happy. No, I can be at peace and happy now, because happy and peace is what I am. If I stop judging my present experience, if I stop judging the thoughts that are coming or that are appearing because I'm not even controlling them. And, and, and it's really interesting because now it's an observant. Now life is more 
more pleasant, more peaceful, more, more, you know, just more joyous in a sense that I'm just being an observer of, look at the thoughts that are showing up in my mind. Look at the feelings that are, uh, seems to be triggered in the, in, in the, in the body. Uh, look at the experience that is taking place. If I withdraw my interpretation, my condemnation to it, then it's a beautiful world. <laughs> it's a beautiful experience. It's a beautiful presence. Again, when I mean the beautiful world, I'm really talking about the, the way of seeing it. That's what I mean. That's what's, that's what's beautiful. The way that I, can, that I have a choice to look at the world from a, from a different place that I cannot explain that in words, but that's usually what naturally takes place when, when all the uh, interpretation, or I would say personal interpretation, or conditioned interpretation is being dropped. And that's the process. That's the practice. So to me, living in the present is just this. There's nothing else. And whatever I'm feeling, that's fine. Whatever I'm thinking, that's fine. Because they're not my thoughts, they're not my feelings. I am not even the one that I think I am. It's just simply the experience itself and there's nothing else I can there's nothing else I need to do about it. So once again, if you want to be if you want to live in the present, then stop living in the present. Because <laughs> there's nothing else you can do about it. This is it. The question is, am I in resistance to it or am I in total acceptance to it? And that's all there is. <laughs>